Thank Obviously, you. tonight there was a bit of a reveal for you being back. Thank you. How are you feeling? Um, I, I, I'm beat up, but I mean, I'm ready to wrestle again. Um, you know, this is a ballet, despite our, our good dancing abilities. But, um, you know, it's time, for me, it's time for me to get back in the ring. Uh, these guys have carried the load, and uh, as a result, they're world tag team champions, and they deserve it. But I don't want to be on the sidelines anymore. I can't wait. Um, you know, I, I'm basically coming in against doctor's orders. But I'm ready to wrestle, and I'm ready to wrestle Pendulum, and that's my goal. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get vengeance. I'm gonna get my revenge. Um, he tried to put me out, and uh, I'm gonna do it. That, at very least, put him out of the ring. Let's see what, let's see how far I can go. Where did your idea come from to do the double play there and, and dress like him to surprise him like that? Well, I mean, you know, I, I feel like I'm a, I'm a pretty smart guy, and I'm not just gonna come running at you, yelling and screaming so that you see me coming. I'm gonna make a plan and I'm gonna get inside your head and I'm gonna screw with you. Um, this is the first step. And let's see what happens Wednesday. Let's see what happens the next time he's around, the next time he's in the locker room. Let's see what happens. I mean, uh, you know, they call me the fallen angel for a reason. Uh, I used to be a pretty, pretty good guy and I'm not really anymore. And I'll show them how bad I can get. Will there be a, a Freebird rule with the titles, with the three of you? As long as the Freebirds don't wrestle here, I don't think so. Yeah, no. No, these guys. These guys are in the belts. The play, their names are on the pl the belts. I'll get my own belt. I'll get my own belt when the time's right. Chris Jericho said he and Sammy Guevara are going to challenge for the titles on Wednesday. Is there any truth to that? Bring it the hell yeah. on. I don't know. Did he say it to you? Yeah. 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 It sounds like he was being honest. Yeah. I don't think he's lying. These look good. Running shoes. Yeah, yeah. Let's do this. We're fighting champions. Yeah. 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 If, if the world, if the AEW World Champion wants a shot at the belts. Right. We're happy. When we say we're fighting champions, we mean we will fight anybody on the roster that wants a shot at these belts. We do proved it tonight. We beat two of the best, most dynamic tag teams on the planet tonight. Do you think they deserve it with the power rankings, though? No, but uh, Chris Jericho is the world champion. He's, yep. a, he's a legend. He's a surefire Hall of Famer. So if he asks for a title shot, I mean, he himself kind of deserves it. So, yeah. like I said, we're not running from anybody. Anybody wants a shot? And, li and listen, the last six weeks have seen the inner circle pretty much run rough shot. So, I mean, why wouldn't you give them an opportunity? Let's be, let's be the first guys that knock their dicks in the dirt. I'm fine with that. I know they can do it. Certainly not going to say no to Chris Jericho. You know? Certainly not. It's a big fight. Right. 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 Big it's fight. Good attention for us. So but every know. fight, every fight thus far has been a big fight. You know, the first night when Scorp stepped up and CD got hurt, right. that was a big fight. Right. You know, the finals against the Lucha Brothers, that was a big fight. Tonight was a huge fight. Like I said, two of the best tag teams in the world. Uh, it would be an honor and a privilege to be Chris Jericho and whoever he brings from the inner circle. This might not have been a question that we would have had before tonight's show, but <laughs> the Rock and Roll Express tonight almost like put themselves back, and you know, people want to see them again in matches. Are you open to having a match with the Rock and Roll Express? How would that feel for you guys to sort of let a veteran team like that come in and, and, and take a shot? You kidding me? I, the, the, those two gentlemen, uh, you know, those are guys that I grew up watching. And, you know, maybe this generation isn't as familiar with them. They know them as legends. They didn't know them in their prime like I did when I was a kid. And I would be 100% open to wrestling guys like the Rock and Roll Express because without those guys, there's no Christopher Daniels, there's no Scorpio Sky, there's certainly no Frankie Kazarian, because those are the guys that paved the way. And this generation really needs to see, understand, and respect that. So I, personally speaking, would love to do that. Uh, I don't Chris, care what we face, personally. I mean, you could put any two guys together and put them in the ring with us, we're going to get the job done. That's the way we prove we're the best. Time and time again, we're going to go up against whoever they put in front of us, and they will all fall. Chris, you mentioned how you were going to get your own title. Uh, right now, the only other title would be the men's world title. Uh, do you feel like there should be another title? Some can't kind of challenge, challenge Rio? Uh, I, I would challenge Rio. I was going to say only other we men's title. Yeah. yeah, was right now the world title. Uh, is that match. would would you be interested in a secondary title? Or are you only having your eyes set on the world title right now? Uh, well, I mean, if AE, if AEW decided that there was room for a secondary title um, in in the company, I would certainly have no problem competing for that title but at the same time um, you know I've been world champion one time in my life and it felt great and I would love the opportunity to wrestle uh, someone like Chris Jericho someone I've looked up to in my career for more than 20 years to get the opportunity to wrestle him and maybe beat him for the world championship what a feather in my cap that would be correct yeah, so I mean yeah that would be outstanding but um, whatever happens with AEW whether it's uh, 
the world title, a secondary title, uh, if six man titles come around, if Riho wants to, to grapple with the old CD, I'm fine with any of that, man. I'm, I'm, I'm having the most fun of my life. I'm with my two best friends, and AEW is kicking ass every Wednesday night. So, whatever happens, I'm, I'm, down, I'm down for it. Scorpio, you went from a person that was the uh, man who stepped to the side and was going to let the more experienced tag team wrestlers participate in the tag title, but then now you're tag team champion yourself. Can you talk about the road from PWG? training to get into the point where on a national stage you get to show what you can do good question man good it's question. it's it's obviously been a long road uh, i made a joke a week or so ago i'm like a 17 year overnight sensation you know and uh it's taken a long uh, a lot of mistakes of falling on my face and and things that were sometimes out of my control um, wrong timing wrong place bad luck just you know and sometimes just not being good enough um, and I think it's it's definitely a testament to um, not giving up in your will. And I always talk about it. You know, they say that about they talk about the uh, the light at the end of, end of the tunnel. You know, this uh, this figurative light that's out there. And, and it's easy to keep walking through that tunnel when you see the light, when you know there's a light there. What's hard is continuing to walk through that tunnel and not knowing if you're ever going to see that light. And having people tell you there's no light out there for you. And then you keep walking. You say, thank you. I'm going to keep going. That's what's difficult. And if anybody can look at my story, um, I think they can use that as motivation to do whatever they want to do. Just off the back of that, you know, when you stepped in and team with Kazarian on Dynamite and the crowd were so behind you, was there sort of vindication to you? Like, because the crowd, it almost felt like it was a 17 overnight sensation that night where everybody was behind you. Was there vindication for you in that moment of going, all the hard work, all the stuff I've overcome, they, they're reacting to me in a way that I, I hope they would? Uh, yeah, I mean, it was definitely a great feeling, but at the same time, I knew there was still a mountain to climb. The match wasn't done yet. I, I knew we had, uh, even in, after winning that one, we had two more matches after that. But uh, it, it definitely felt good. And uh, again, I always compare myself to James J. Braddock, who's Cinderella Man. And uh, for those that don't know his story, is he was essentially uh, out of the boxing business. This is a boxer from the Great Depression era. He was out of the boxing business. They took his license, and they called him up on two days' notice because they needed somebody to knock out. And so he had to step in last minute, and he won his fight. And then he won another fight, and he won another fight. And then he became the world champion. So, yeah, it felt great, and uh, it proved that I'm the Cinderella man for wrestling. Where does Baltimore last, rank sorry, on the list of last, cities you guys have ever been to? It's tied for the worst town we've ever been to. Yeah, yeah. top five. SoCal easy. and everywhere else is tied, tied for, for the worst town we've been or to. Or last. I don't know how you look. Uh, However, I do like. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Scorpio, I wanted to ask you real quick. A lot has been made about the diversity in AEW. You are the first African American champion in AEW history. What does that mean to you? He's also the youngest, tallest, shortest, heaviest, and lightest African American tag team champion. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, uh, I think it's uh, it's definitely a great honor. Obviously, it's uh, you never want to make it anywhere um, based off of what you are and I think that's the beautiful thing about AEW is they are open to having uh, just different people of cultures and and religions and and whatever it may be uh, and and it's all it's about talent right here it's about talent you got to be able to get it done in the ring and and be a performer and uh, the fact that I was able to step up to the plate and get here and represent the culture it's amazing Good. Thank you so much, cool. guys. Thank, Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you guys.